so I had three minutes worth of stuff prepared until Pat was too busy. So I was like, okay. So you I'm going to talk slowly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a few notes because this was kind of built last night. So just bear with me. <laughs> well, I know you can make it before you might so, um, as you have all heard me say this morning, I'm Bonnie and my business is the Abbott Organiser. So I am the declutterer and the organiser of business electronic mostly stuff. So I am a natural neat freak, which drives my husband crazy because I'm always moving his stuff. Um, and my clients call me a support angel, they call me their rock, they call me the karma of the crazy, the lifesaver. I am, in a lot of ways, I'm a hand holder for small businesses. I give them confidence and I give them the support that they need to do what they need to do. And even though I'm relocating to Townsville, as Patricia mentioned, I can work with my clients online. I think we all can agree that this year we've all learned how to work online and how to work remotely. So I guess a little bit of uh, background on me. Um, I originally started my career in a hotel in Darwin and I had a lot of wonderful life lessons and career lessons there. Um, from there I ended up working in construction where I worked for businesses like Tease and Rio Tinto, Estrada Coal. Um, I really loved the engineering and construction industry but it, the, the fly and fly out lifestyle was pretty hard. So I gave, came to a point where I thought, what can I do so I could actually be at home with my husband, so I can see my friends, so I can have a life. And I thought, you know what, I really love being organised and maybe I can have small businesses do this. There's a whole other story, but today I actually wanted to share with you some tips on how you can be better organised for 2021. Oh, yes. So these are some of the things that I've learnt throughout my working career. Some of them were kind of drummed into me at my first job in this hotel in Darwin. Um, and other things that I've picked up this year which have really made a massive change to the way I do business and the way I keep myself organised. I have a lot of different clients and they all do really different things and I, my brain goes in about 15 different directions a week. So being organised is actually essential to doing what I do. Okay, so the first, the first tip I have for you is learn, and Harry would agree with this, learning is very important. Um, learn how to be organised. Being organised is not something that you are just born with. Sure, some people are more neat and tidy and like order, but being organised is actually a skill that you need to learn like any other skill. Um, and it's never too late to learn something new. Just because previously you haven't been that organised doesn't actually mean that you can't learn how to be more organised. Professor Google can actually be exceptionally helpful when it comes to being more organised. <coughs> Professor Google. Yeah. 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 So a lot of things like medical stuff, super notice, you probably shouldn't Google. <laughs> but when it comes to organisation, you can find some really fabulous articles and videos on YouTube about how to help you be more organised. And ask other people, you know, what do you do? How do you keep track of this? Um, you'd be really amazed at what wonderful ideas people have with. And maybe you don't take them on board, but maybe you could be like, wow, that's a great idea. I'm going to try that and see if it works for me. Um, so this is something that has changed my life this year, the Productivity Ninja. If you haven't ever heard of Graham Alcott, I highly recommend you have a read of his book. So he's all about being a ninja and being productive, you know? And a lot of that is organisation as well. So I highly recommend, great read. It's not heavy. It's um, really quite comical. Um, yeah, this is a fabulous book. And you get this beautiful artwork all throughout the book of this little ninja man made out of the projects. <laughs> Get a structure. Um, this is something that is so important um, for being organised, uh, particularly um, 
particularly with your digital files, but also with your emails and your paperwork as well. If you have a structure, it will stop you from procrastinating because you'll know where something belongs. So you know you get that pile of paperwork that kind of sits on your desk and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's not that you um, don't want to do it necessarily, it might be that you just don't know what to do with it. So this helps having the structure. Um, so it helps you find what you're looking for when you're looking for it. So you don't have to troll through a ton of documents, you actually know exactly where that thing will be. A uh, good structure helps you avoid all the information that's actually not relevant to the thing that you're looking for. It helps you sort of pinpoint, zone in on the thing that you're chasing. Um, and I like to think of a good filing structure, whether it be emails, digital or paper, as the bones of the body. It's like, imagine if your body had no bones, just be like this sack of muscles, ligaments, organs, like, you know, you wouldn't know where the finger muscle is compared to, you know, a back muscle. It would all just be kind of in the mix. So when you give your filing structure some bones, it actually makes it possible to find things. Who has been to a really busy airport? Not recently. <laughs> productivity 
he's the goal. Mm -hmm.
what the needs might be. The money can be yeah. when we are working on our own. Yeah. All that goes for our business. I mean, you know, don't have time yeah. to do anything. So yeah. She is extremely Thank versatile you. in what areas. <laughs> Thank Bonnie, you. I can tell just from your presentation, you know, the yeah. actual uh, appearance of the mm -hmm. panel. What? It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very good. She's she's so yeah. yeah. And she's very reasonable. Any other questions? How many emails are in your inbox at the moment, <laughs> Bonnie?